You might have heard of a game called Flappy Bird. It's this mobile game where you tap the screen and a duck thing flaps and you have to make it through these green Mario pipes and it makes no sense. But for some reason, it's really fun for a few days. It was really popular back in the Stone Age. Now, when I first played this game, I was like, um, I can literally make this game in 10 minutes. How the heck did it get ah uh, many downloads? And if you've done any amount of programming, then you've probably thought the same. Today I'm going to put that theory to the test, and I'm going to try and make Flappy Bird in 10 minutes. Also, if any of you guys watching are aspiring game developers, I'm hoping this video will give you an idea of how you might create a game and how you can use Unity. This won't be a tutorial per se, because I won't be explaining every single thing that I do, but hopefully it will still be helpful for beginners. If you have been learning Unity and programming for a little bit, but you still don't know how to apply all the knowledge that you've gained, this video should provide a nice quick example of how you can put everything together. If you do know what you're doing with Unity, at least you can watch me struggle. So I went ahead and prepared some sprites ahead of time, and that's just so that this challenge isn't entirely impossible, and also so that the game looks decent for the YouTube thumbnail. But besides that, this is a completely empty Unity project. So, without further ado, 10 minutes starts now. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is drag in some of our sprites that I made, and I'm going to reorder it a bit so that things are appearing in the right order. We're going to resize ground here and move it down, and we've got a nice looking ground. And same thing with the bushes. Now let's move our background up, and just like that, everything is looking nice and pretty. Now we're going to jump in our egg, and you might be wondering why we have an egg. And to that I would answer, I don't know how to draw a bird. So we're going to pop a rigid body onto our egg, and now we've got physics. Now we just need collision, so we're going to add a circle collider, 2D, and a box collider to the ground. And we can just resize this. Resize this, okay, and now we've got collisions. So let's add a C sharp script and we can start it to get some flapping action going. Got 8 minutes and 40 seconds left. Half the game is done. Into Visual Studio we go. We're going to start by testing. If we have pressed the mouse button with an if statement, and if we have, then we're going to get our reference to our rigid body component, which handles the physics of our egg, and then we can just set its velocity to the up. Uh, direction times a certain speed, not a sprite renderer. Thank you for that Visual Studio. And that will do the trick. We need to add our egg script to the egg and specify the jump speed. All right, look at that. So we're looking a little bit floaty, so let's just increase the gravity scale. And now it is looking excellent. Haha. <laughs> okay. Now we need to get some obstacles in here. So I'm going to drag out a building. I'm going to scale it up a bit and reorder it. Now we have a building. I'm going to move it down. And I'm going to go ahead and add a box glider. And we're going to do a lot of resizing here. That's looking good. Let's duplicate this. Before we do that, I'm going to add a tag so we can use that later. Called OBS tag U and tag U. Alright, let's rotate our second building 180 degrees and move it up. 
Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Let's just make a empty game object called obstacle. And we're going to zero this out and dump our buildings into the air. And now when we move obstacle, both our buildings are moving together and that's perfect. And we're going to add it that as a prefab and delete it. Now we got to get a few more scripts going. We're going to make one for the obstacle. And we're going to make one for the spawner. Speaking of spawner, let's go ahead and make another empty game object called spawner. We're going to move this to the right. Let's go back into Visual Studio. Let's start with our obstacle. So every frame we want to transform.translate. And we're just going to move our obstacle to the left times a certain speed which we can make a public variable for so we can change it in the inspector like normal. Now into our spawner script we're going to set up a little bit of a timer system so let's make a public float for the spawn time and a private float for the counter. Okay let's de increment the counter by time dot delta time every frame and if this counter gets below zero then we're going to do stuff. We're going to reset the counter to spawn time. And we are going to instantiate a obstacle. Let's make a variable for that obstacle. So a variable... Okay, yeah, I don't have time for that. Obstacle and we're gonna spawn it at a certain rotation now we want I mean position so we want this position to be randomized so let's go ahead and make a vector2 variable and as the x parameter we're going to use this object's position and for the y parameter we're going to make a random dot range between two values and for that let's make another public float variable and we can make the random number between negative range and positive range for our y position. Now we can pass in that position we just created into the instantiate variable and we are going to use the obstacles normal rotation. Let's also go to the egg and we're going to go ahead and add some collisions, collision detection that is. We're going to take in a collision 2D as a parameter. And now we have a reference to the other object that we've collided with. And we're going to test if this other object is tagged with that OBS that we made earlier. So if we've collided it with a object, with a obstacle, then we're going to want to just restart the game so we're going to need scene management for that and we're just going to load in the first scene once again looks like we forgot a semicolon of course we did right here don't forget your semicolons got two minutes and 30 seconds left let's see what is happening Nothing. Cool. That's fine. That is fine. We did not add any of our scripts, so that is mistake number one. Let's just set our spawn time and set our obstacle variable to the prefab later, and we're going to need to set the speed of our obstacle to something like that. Let's go ahead and make sure that we multiply this by time dot delta time. And we're going to go ahead and need a bigger value for that. Let's hit play. Let's see what's happening. We've got obstacles. They're coming extremely slowly. I'm going to make the spawn range a bit lower. And I'm going to make the speed of our obstacles a bit faster. 
All right, we've got obstacles spawning. There looks to be at random heights, and if we run into them, then we restart the scene. I've got one minute and 30 seconds left. Let's add another tag for our ground. And let's hop into Visual Studio Code, and we're going to add a another condition here. We'll use this handy or symbol, and we're going to check if we have collided with the ground. And... If we have, then we will also restart the scene. All right. We are restarting. We are not restarting when we hit the ground, and that's because I did not tag this with ground. Okay. Now what's wrong? I misspelled ground, of course. 30 seconds left. And I think we're going to call this a day. Let's see if it actually works. We can flap our egg. The buildings are at random heights. Don't ask why there's a building coming from the ceiling or from the sky. If we hit the ground, then we also restart the game. I only have five seconds left, so I'm not going to have time to add a score counter, but Oh, okay, time is up. Well, I think we pretty much did all right, if you ask me. We've got an egg. The egg is flapping. We've got buildings. The buildings are being created, and they're flying at us. And this is incredibly easier than the normal Flappy Bird game, but that's too... that's okay. Um, and yeah, you can always keep track of the score in your head. So that's cool. We're restarting the game. If you hit the obstacle and if you hit the ground, I think this is good. And now I can just sit back and relax and play my egg-cellent game. Whew. So if you liked this video, let me know if I should do more in the future and what games I should make next in 10 minutes. Titanfall 2 is on the list, so t stay tuned for that. And yeah, let me know if you liked this format. Thanks and goodbye.